it's always interesting to see how long engineers uh, search online and try to find their own answers before they're willing to engage with sales. And that number is consistently trended 50% or better, and it keeps going up and up and up. And certainly some age differences in this question too. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I would say that it might be easy to think that the pandemic has kind of made people go online for their buying process, but that's really always been the trend. Mm -hmm. Um, So it may have, you know, pushed it a little bit, but it's not the sole reason here. Um, Engineers have moved online to complete much of the buying process and they have for a while now. Uh, We saw 62% of respondents complete more than half of the buying process online uh, before they reach out to anyone. Um, And we see, you know, we do see that um, it, there are differences in age, but um, it might not be what you think. So engineers that are 45 and under do spend even more time online. Um, 70% of, of those people uh, complete more than half the buying process online. I know there's a lot of numbers flying out here. Sometimes <laughs> it can be hard to yeah. follow along, but you know, engineers 45 and under are spending the most time online mm-hmm. before reaching out to someone. Um, but still, when we look at, for example, engineers over 65, um, they're, they're also spending at least 50% of the journey online. So it's not, um, it's not as egregious in the differences as you might think. Yep. Yep. Good. And that's just really kind of the way of the world these days. It is. I I was speaking with an engineer last week who shared that, oh, oh yeah, I don't want to talk to anyone. (laughs) No, like (laughs) don't call me. I don't want to talk to anyone. And and so I said, okay. I said, well, let me tell you, you know, we also ask when an engineer is ready to talk to sales, how do they, what form do they want to communicate in? Sure. And overwhelmingly it was? It was email. It was email. Uh, We found, yeah, 52% would prefer to contact someone via email. Uh, we found 29% would prefer a phone call. And then, you know, not very many people were in favor of in-person meetings for obvious reasons. Um, we also saw, um, I know we get a lot of questions about online chat. We sure um, do. And it's the preferred method for only 5% of engineers. Um, it doesn't mean they're not using it to maybe ask one off questions or, you know, ask for a phone number or ask for an email address. Um, so I wouldn't say that that online chat is, is not utilized. It's just maybe not what you would think of as your preferred method to really dive into things. Yeah. And, you know, it, it really dive into things. I think that's a good way to say it with this same engineer. I said, well, Hey, what about chat? And he was like, chat, no. Like, and, and I said, okay, well, why, you know, because I feel like we use it so much in B2C situations that they're kind of, uh, I joke beating us into submission, right. We're just going to be so used to it. And he's, yeah. and he made a good point that no, often this is a highly technical solution. I'm going to need a lot of information, some resources that I can go, you know, link to reference, whatever. And that's way easier to do via email. You can go into a little bit more detail. You can provide links, provide documents, but I still don't have to talk to anybody that I perceive (laughs) is trying to push something on me. So it was interesting to hear from his perspective, why email is so valued and, um, you know, I think a lot of disappointment on the marketer's part, because we're trying to, how can we push people further in the funnel? How can we better qualify these leads for sales? So I get why uh, chat is favored, but boy, I guess most of these engineers just aren't ready when it comes to at least seeking a technical solution. 